Welcome back to Weekend Warrior Welding and DIY Projects. Today's project is this uh, Porta Cool Swamp Cooler. It's basically an evaporative cooler. Uh, you see these things often on the sidelines of sporting events, football games, and such. Usually they have a, a hose going into them and you can hear water percolating through it and it blows cold air out. Um, it's basically a, an air conditioner and it functions on the principle of evaporation. So let's take a look at this thing. I found this thing. Um, didn't cost me anything, of course. It's a porta cool I think the model is a, a 2200. We'll find that in a second. It turns on, the pump turns on, but no water comes out. I've filled the thing up with water, by the way. Can't really hear it over the rest of the noise in here, but the, that turns on the pump. You can hear the fan. Fan works. So I feel like this thing either has a clogged line somewhere. Either it hasn't been cleaned, hasn't been maintained, or the pump is bad. Really not sure which one it is. Gonna have to take it apart to figure that out. There's the nameplate. It's a Porta Cool Cyclone 2200 two speed. Uh, runs off a 110, 115, draws two and a half amps. It's already getting late in the season, but my garage gets so, so hot. Having something like this that works saved me a bunch of money in an air conditioner for my garage. And on top of that, it's got wheels. If I want to roll it around to the back patio, barbecue in the middle of the summer, watch a game on TV, I can have it cooled and I think it's going to be awesome. So let's see if we can figure out what's wrong with this thing. So we'll take off this these pads are the water is supposed to percolate down through these, and this is where the evaporative cooling happens. Whoops. Alright, so there's the first one. Second one. third one and you can see inside there's a fan lower my camera a little bit here okay the inside actually looks pretty clean um, it doesn't look there's not a lot of scale Makes me think that the people who had this previously, at least they maintained it a little bit. Looking in here, that's the blower fan. There's the pump down there. There is a pump down there. I felt the 
this thing full of water so that we can test it, but it's not working. Uh, there's the float switch. And basically, the way this thing works is the uh, submersible pump down there will activate, it'll pump water up through there, and the water will come out of PVC pipe, not unlike uh, an ice maker, and the water will percolate down through all those holes onto these evaporative, I don't know, this stuff's kind of like a weird cardboard substance, and as the water evaporates, it cools the air that flows through it. Anyway, uh, I am going to drain the water out of this thing. And no reason to have that fan on. And I think the problem's going to be in the pump. When I turn the pump on, you can hear it. And you can feel a vibration in the side of this. But there's just no water flowing through. So I, I really think the thing we need to do is take that pump out. It's impossible to see that. Hold on a second. Sorry about that pause. I had to grab a little flashlight. Um, you can see there is the pump. And I just feel like that's where the problem is. It's either not working or it's clogged up water goes through there, up behind the blower, and out through this thing. So, let me drain the rest of this water. Let me get that pump out, and uh, we'll see what the next step is. Alright, let's see if we can take off. There's one. pretty clear. Don't see any major blockages like I've seen in the past with some things here in Houston with our lovely water. So basically now I guess I'm going to uh, undo these two screws or these bolts. I'm gonna need a different different set of pliers and socket for that. That should free up the pump. Um, get that thing out and we'll see what it looks like. All right, so got this off. There's an aluminum plate, and that lets the pump come out. I'm gonna have to take a look at that thing. Doesn't look too bad, but we'll clean it up. I'm sure that's what the problem is, somewhere in that thing. I wanted y'all to take a look at this. I had to unscrew the little rubber covers on these things, and it took me a little bit, and then the whole thing fell out. Um, you can't really see it from here, but there's a whole box inside. That's where all the electronics are. And let's see if you finagle it a certain way. Everything pops out. There we go. 
this box, there's the two toggle switches. It comes out, there's the ground. Um, this one looks like it's to the power. This is the blower motor. And this one, of course, is the one we're interested in, the pump. All right, really the only thing inside of here it's just everything's clipped together and there's some toggle switches. So I'm going to unclip the pump. That's not worth our time um, and I'll be right back. There it is, it was just a quick zip tie. Now, I believe this is our problem. When I plug it in, that does not sound like a healthy pump at all. So, let's turn this thing off. Sounds like bad bearings, not sure. Um, probably want to get that thing off pretty quick. Alright, here's how it comes apart. This little filter unscrews. I popped a screwdriver in there. This slides out. And the telltale sign of a bad pump. It is plugged in and I think that there's a good angle. It is not spinning. So there are broken parts inside of that. All right, that's pretty much it. Um, put the motor, just like the impeller. This is the back. This clips on here. Uh, when I tried to plug it in, it tripped the breaker. So that's pretty much the point where I stopped trying to repair. And I'm just going to order a new one. Um, see how much that thing costs on Amazon. It can't be that much. Hold on, I'll be right back. All right, so this is what I've found. I've found this on Amazon, Amazon's Choice. It's this Grow Near pump, 19 bucks. It'll be here, I don't know, tomorrow, day after, pretty quickly. And as soon as it gets here, I will finish off this video. The new pump came. Amazon's pretty quick. Here it is. Fairly inexpensive. Came with several adapters. This one is the correct size for the hose that I took out. It'll fit over it. I need to get it a little bit wet and get it to slide over. Um, I will do that off camera. The only real problem I have is this thing comes wired to be plugged into the wall, whereas the old pump is not. So what I did, I put this thing in my vise right here earlier. I had it locked in, took a pair of needle nose pliers and just jammed each one of these out. So they come out. I have the correct plug. All I have to do now is cut off this plug, crimp these little things onto the wires from here, slide them into this adapter, and this thing will be ready to reinstall.
Okay, so fix the connector. That's all ready. Plug it in. So, give it a test real quick. Whoops. I guess I've got to plug it in. That would probably help. Now, let's try this. I'm not sure if you can hear it. But looks like it works. So I'm going to put everything back together. All right, there it is. I filled it up with water. The pump is there under that bracket connected to that hose. And I'm going to zoom out. You can get a good angle and show you how the water falls on this thing after it's clean. And that water falls over these things, which I will install in just a second. Okay, I've installed the evaporative media. And now, when the water's on, it'll percolate through that and let's see if we can get this turned turn the fan on and cold air blows out of the back can't really see it but It's there, and I can certify that that is definitely cold air. Anyway, that's it for this project. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, please subscribe, please share with your friends. The more people that know about my videos, the more people that comment, the more people that like, the more I'm able to do this. So please help me get my channel going. I appreciate everything. And I will be back soon with another video. Thanks a lot.